Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pharmacology. We are doing pharma from Lippincott and the topic of discussion today will be anti-diarrheals. So GI ki drugs hum discuss kar rahe hain aur diarrhea mein jo drugs use hoti hain that we will talk about today. Uh, the basic principle in diarrhea is like there is um, uh, there are different mechanisms basically by which diarrhea happens. So uh, at the end of the day there is definitely increased gut motility so the smooth muscles of the gut are contracting and relaxing more in frequency than usual so there is increased motility of the gi tract and the other phenomena that you have to consider is that there is decreased absorption of the fluid usually your gi tract hai, obviously uh, it moves at a certain pace and it keeps on reabsorbing uh, water and um, uh, that reabsorption of water uh, leads to formation of almost uh, semi-solid stools. Now, if this any of the two phenomena are disturbed, yani number one, if there is increased gut motility uh, or um, if there is decreased reabsorption of the fluid, uh, both these scenarios will lead to diarrhea because there will be more motility, so more frequency of stools. And if there is more liquid in the lumen of the gut, that will also lead to diarrhea. Okay. Uh, so therefore, the anti-diarrheal drugs are focused on these two mechanisms. I will tell you that in pharma, the drug is basically uski understanding of the drug is at the back of it, you understand the physiology of uh, how things work. So if you don't understand the physiology, if you don't understand the pathology, then you will have tough time understanding pharmacology. So anti-diarrheal drugs basically focus on uh, decreasing the gut motility. So there are anti-diarrheal drugs which are anti-motility agents and there are drugs that will modify the fluid electrolyte transport across the lumen and obviously there will be adsorbents so adsorbents ka role abhi hum discuss karte hain thoi so the basic concept aapko pata lag gaya ke how anti-diarrheals basically work okay so uh, if we have to reduce the motility uh, ya mobility of the gut these are the common anti-motility agents which are used uh, Lomotil, very commonly used drug. It's a combination of uh, diphenoxalate with atropine. Another drug we use very commonly is lopramide. So both these are anti-motility agents. So they try to reduce the motility of your gut. Then there are absorbent, adsorbent category and then there are uh, agents which actually alter the fluid electrolyte transport across the GI tract so that they alter the fluid composition of the lumen including bismuth subsalicylate okay so let's start with the anti-motility agents there are two drugs which are widely used to control diarrhea are uh, diphenoxalate and lopramide and both the analogs is stable if you remember these two you know lopramide and diphenoxalate now both uh, are analogs of a compound called meperidin and they have opioid like actions on the gut so they suppress the gut motility they activate presynaptic opioid receptor in the enteric nervous system. You know that the gut has a separate nervous system to control its movement. So, waha opioid receptors hain, they are activated and uh, the whole system then inhibits acetylcholine release and therefore it leads to reduced peristalsis. So, when the peristalsis is reduced, it is uh, in other words to say that the motility is reduced. At the usual dose, they lack any analgesic effect. Lopramide is used for general treatment of acute diarrhea, including traveler's diarrhea, because these drugs can contribute to toxic megacolon. So uh, imagine this condition. So if this is your colon and it has its normal peristaltic um, movement and you are giving uh, a lot of Lomotil, for example, you are giving a lot of anti motility agent so that the colon will ultimately stop doing peristalsis and that will lead to accumulation of all the feces within the colon leading to toxic megacolon so this is one of the complications of these drugs used right um, therefore these drugs should not be you i would say that these drugs should be used with caution particularly in young children or in patients with severe colitis who already have colitis don't use these drugs okay so entire motility agents very important now what are adsorbents adsorbent agents such as aluminum hydroxide ya methyl cellulose they are used to control diarrhea presumably these agents act by adsorbing intestinal toxins and microorganisms so in the gut if there are any toxins available you use these drugs and they act as buffers or cushions for those toxins
So they are either coated and they are protected to enter into the GI mucosa. So aluminum hydroxide and methyl cellulose work this way. They are much less effective, obviously, than anti-motility agent because the motility agents are bang on hitting the primary pathology. There is increased motility in diarrhea, so anti-motility agents are uh, far more superior to the use of adsorbents. Then, obviously, we have the category which modify the fluid electrolyte transport, including bismuth subsalicylate, used for prevention and treatment of traveler's diarrhea. So, if you are traveling, you are drinking water from here and there, you may catch some bugs and you uh, may start having diarrhea. So, this is one of the agents to be used also prophylactically. Taki aapko disease hoi na. Treatment ek issue hai. Prevention is uh, also an important stuff in traveler's diarrhea. So it decreases the fluid secretion in the bowel and its action may be due to salicylate component. So simply it uh, a pani gum aega, fluid gum aega bowel mein, to diarrhea ka amount kam ho jayega. And um, adverse effects may include black tongue and black stool. So that's one of the side effects that's very typical of uh, using aluminium or uh, bismuth uh, subsalicylate. So that's basically it about the anti diarrheals simple stuff simple strategy all you have to remember how um, does diarrhea happen so once you understand how diarrhea happens you easily understand how to control it so diarrhea happens by number one increased motility of the gut and uh, number two by increased fluid secretion so that's the very basic discussion on anti diarrheals that are commonly used in clinics